All right, what's going on everybody? My name is Kyle McHugh and here we talk about marathon training. And I'm very excited for this video because we are jumping back a couple of weeks to when I went into Fleet Feet. I went through the whole fitting process and I'm really excited about the pair of shoes that I walked out of there with. So without further ado, happy holidays and we're gonna jump back a couple of weeks to when I was just about to walk into the store back in Raleigh. Let's do it. All right, what's going on everybody? I am in the parking lot about to jump into Fleet Feet. We're gonna be picking out a new pair of shoes today um yeah it's raining so let's get in there and let's check out the store real quick and see if we can find a new pair of shoes for us all right what's up guys this is molly and she's gonna give us a hand picking out a new pair of shoes say hello to the internet molly hello okay so just a couple notes about the fitting process over at fleet feet um, so right off the bat, I sat down with Molly and she just kind of started talking and asking me questions about, you know, how's my training going? Am I running? Am I walking? What kind of exercise am I looking to do? So I filled her in on the marathon training and that kind of led to the next step in the process where we jumped on this 3D scanning device that was totally from the future and super awesome and showed me a lot of stuff that I had never seen or known about my own feet. For starters, I have a very narrow heel which ended up kind of explaining why I always tend to want to size down my shoes because I feel like there's always room back there even though my shoe, my foot length is a little bit more appropriate for a 10 and a half. I've always been sizing things down and kind of been confused about that. But now I have a good reason for it. So that was an aspect of the whole fitting process that was totally awesome. And then we even jumped into trying on a whole bunch of shoes where I picked things up. And I think I, I, th I said a few words about it we can switch to that. We'll switch to that, me picking it up. All right, so right now I just did the scanning ID process. She walked me through some info on that sweet app and she's out there looking for the perfect shoes for me. So I'm just sitting waiting. Oh. <laughs> Guys, so we tried on a pair of Sauconies, a pair of Hoka's. Um, we did jump into a pair of New Balances, believe it or not. Wasn't quite my favorite, but a very exciting shoe. We're sitting in the Saucony Kinvara twos? Twos? Something along those tens. Tens, only eight miles off. It's so much lighter. <laughs> so we tried on a bunch of shoes. We ended up with the Sauconies right here. Not quite the model we were looking at color-wise, but at least I won't be getting hit by any cars this week. Um, quite a bit lighter, actually went with a nine and a half, so we sized down a bit. Um, yeah, pretty excited to, you know, put some miles in a new pair of shoes and a new brand of shoes, and we'll kind of match them up against the launch, and we'll see, we we'll see how we like them in a couple hundred miles, but appreciate it. Molly, thanks for the help. She's back there. <laughs> and yeah, that's gonna wrap things up. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so if you haven't noticed already, this is definitely a sponsored video by Fleet Feet, but they've been a lot of fun to work with and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about the company and their stores. Fleet Feet is a one-stop shop for all your running slash sports needs. With five different locations in the Triangle area, you can grab the newest model of your favorite running shoe or a gift for an active friend. Check out local running groups ranging from beginner to advanced designed to help you succeed at any distance. Okay, so we are back in upstate New York and it is the holidays again, right? A little time travel there. So we are sitting here with the Kinvara 10s. I know what you're thinking. These aren't the yellow ones I was just shaking around. A little update on that. I went back in about a week later. I did size up to a 10. It felt like a better fit for me. I was happy with the nine and a halfs. However, I just kept thinking the more miles I started doing come January, February, leading into my marathon at Wilmington, um, that my feet are gonna swell on some longer runs and I'm gonna be happier with a little bit more room. Um, so that is the reason that I'm now shaking around these 11s, or I'm sorry, the orange 10s rather than the yellow nine and a halfs. But that is gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. It has been a long winded one, a very exciting adventure. Uh, thanks to Fleet Feet for sponsoring the video. Um, and it's been a lot of fun making this video, a lot of fun running in a new pair of shoes and I'm really excited about some other videos that we got planned. Happy holidays to everyone. Whatever it is you're celebrating, let's bring in 2020 the right way. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.